On Saturday, dozens of people led by border advocates created a caravan to protest Governor Abbott's extreme conservative politics. The demands of the protest were to stop the extremist attacks on immigrants, border communities, Latinos, and people of color. Rescind the disaster declaration on the border, prioritize fact-based COVID-19 mitigation efforts, the vaccine rollout, and community relief. Fix the state's electrical grid to prevent devastating powder outages, invest in housing for Texans experiencing homelessness and newcomers at our border, expand access to health care services that are inclusive of all Texans, promote a quality historically accurate education for our children, preserve license to carry firearms in public, stop attacking democracy and work towards expanding voting access, not restricting it, and end the criminalization of poor people and people of color. Members of Lupe, Arise, and ACLU of Texas joined the caravan from the Valley to Austin. Here is some footage from the action this past weekend. So we're gonna be out in Austin. Uh, we're gonna be joined by allies across the state. It will be led by our groups here in the Rio Grande Valley. It will be led by other border groups uh, like Border Network for Human Rights in El Paso uh, coming together. And we're gonna be joined by allies across the state joining hands with us and sending a message to Governor Greg Abbott that we will not stand by and watch while he attacks the immigrant community, that he injects white supremacy into the politics where we live in a state where we have so many needs like Medicaid expansion where more than a third of the people here in the Rio Grande Valley still don't count with health insurance, where we deal with the effects of climate change and floods every single year in our colonias. Um, where we haven't fixed the electric grid, right? It wasn't really addressed in this, in this session. And what was the focus instead? It was attacking immigrant communities uh, for political purposes. My name is Angelica Aviles and I'm from Hidalgo, Texas. I am supporting the caravan Juntos Together for Texas. We ask to stop the discrimination towards the border communities and make priority the needs for everyone equally. Join and raise the voice with us. United we make the strength. Juntos hacemos la fuerza. Hi, my name is Hansa Norman with the Uri Hunters. We are joining Together Hunters Texas to fight back against the white supremacy, racism, and the anti-immigrant agenda in Texas. Because the governor continued to waste our tax dollars and scapegoat immigrants and communities of color through a series of racist anti-immigrant policies. I cannot stay silent because I am also an immigrant. We demand that governor prioritize the real need of Texans, not his re-election. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen Munoz. Um, I work for Latino Justice, and I'm a criminal justice organizer. Um, and I'm here today because, it, like, what what Abbott is doing with immigration is the same thing that he does with all of us, right? All crimes. It's criminalization. His answer to all of it is to put people in a cage and to deport them. That's always the answer. Um, I'm wearing this shirt from 2017, right? The last time we were all here was even before that, right? But 2017, we were here fighting SB4, and we knew back then that wasn't going to be the last of his attacks. And we know now that if we don't stop this now, that's not going to be the last of his attacks. Um, I want to speak a little bit too about um, when we went to Del Rio, Texas. A few of us went to Del Rio in late July, and it was the same day that Greg Abbott pushed an executive order forward that said that anybody with any migrant in their car would be committed of smuggling, would be charged with a smuggling charge. Um, we got there and we saw maybe 50 asylum seekers, 50 refugees, um, 50 people just waiting to get in. And a lot of them were from Haiti, a lot of family from Venezuela. And um, the, the, the not, like, nonprofits down there were overwhelmed. And we knew back then that we needed two things. One, we needed Governor Abbott to stop his attacks, to stop sending police to the border as a solution. Um, and we knew that we needed all government officials, like Julio said, right? We need the federal government. We need all of our elected officials at every level to stop Governor Abbott from doing this. He didn't stop then. Um, and now there's about 12,000 people in Del Rio that are gonna be sent back to Haiti just because our government doesn't have compassion for immigrants, right? And that's why we're here today.